I'm Debbie, I'm an engineer, and as you can see, I am also a girl. <laughs> Tech CEOs love to talk about how there's no problem that they can't solve. Well, I see one right here and right now, and we're not solving it. My girls, they just want a chance to show you what they're capable of. And if everybody in this room, if you gave them that chance, not only would we close the gender gap in tech, but you would build better, stronger, more profitable companies. That voice had stuck in my head from the math teacher. You should try engineering. I think you would like engineering. So I signed up for Mechanical Engineering 101. I was scared to death. I called my mom and told her I was going into this classroom and she said, ew, why? And I walked into the room just so nervous, thinking, oh my gosh, this is probably gonna be my first F. What am I doing here? Looked around, it was all guys in the room. And it just, I, I was almost ready to turn and walk out the door. At the age of 10, um, girls enjoy the STEM functions, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But uh, at 15, girls have switched off. They're just bored. And so for children and adults, it's a cultural issue nowadays. Uh, we're all aware of the issues, and we have to look for ways to offset unconscious bias. All it takes is remembering that what made us different is what makes us so successful. And they passed out our first assignment, and it was to build a catapult uh, getting into groups, and the winning group could have the catapult that threw the ball the farthest, and you had to make it out of like a soda bottle and string and four pieces of foam core and a paper clip. And I thought, oh, wait, this is like my slime thrower from when I was a little kid. Wait, no, I like this stuff. Let me now take you back to the early 1960s. To get past the gender issues of that time, I set up my own high-tech software company, one of the first of the UK such startups. But beware, because the older I get, the better I used to be. <laughs> it was a company of women, a company for women, an early social business. And people did laugh at the very idea because uh, you can't sell software. Uh, at that time, it was given away free with the hardware. Uh, and they laughed even louder at my crusade for women. And although women were then coming out of the universities with decent degrees, there was a glass ceiling to our progress, and I'd hit that ceiling too often. The world, it's a better place because of nerds. Just imagine where we'd be without them. No PCs, no internet, no smartphones, no streaming Game of Thrones. We have all of this because the nerdiest of nerds came to Silicon Valley to be different, to let their freak flags fly high. I love inventing and, and making things and coming up with machines, and uh, I had no idea. I had no idea that I would like engineering. I wanted opportunities for women. So I recruited professionally qualified women who'd left the computer industry on marriage or when their first child was expected, and structured them into a homeworking organization. We pioneered the concept of women going back into the workforce after a career break. We pioneered a whole lot of new work methods, all kinds of flexible working, job shares, profit sharing, and eventually co-ownership when I managed to get a quarter of the company into the hands of the staff at no cost to anyone but me. It occurred to me at some point that there must be so many girls out there who are into this stuff too, and they like literally never even knew what it was and they didn't have the math teacher say something, and they never went into the class, and they thought it was just for the, you know, nerdy genius guys. No one then expected very much from women at work or in society. 
All the expectations were about home and family responsibilities. I couldn't accept that and I started to challenge the conventions of the day, even to the extent of changing my name from Stephanie to Steve in my business development letters so that I could get through that door before anyone realized my gender. Let's join together and say, Silicon Valley is a place for nerds. No matter who you are or what you look like, and we're pretty proud of that.